hello everybody and welcome back so in today's video we will be solving second problem of dp contest and this problem is just the extension of the first problem uh, which i have already discussed so if you guys have not seen that video i request you to pause this video and go check that video out uh, let's read the problem statement for this problem so there are n stone number from 1 to n and there is a height associated with each stone that is hi now there is a frog he is initially at stone 1 and he wants to reach to stone n now if the frog is at stone i he can take number of operation that is he can go to stone i plus 1 till i plus k now there is a cost associated with each jump so imagine if he is at stone i and he wants to go to stone n the cost will be the absolute value of hi minus hj now we have to minimize the total cost incurred when the frog reaches to stone n now the only difference between this problem and that problem is that here in that problem we will having only two values for jumping that was i plus 1 and i plus 2 but now the frog is flexible and he can go till the value of i plus k now let's see the input for this problem so the input now also has uh, k along with n and this is the value of hi now let's try to solve this problem now i have taken the same example which i have taken in the previous problem uh, so this is the value of hi and the frog is initially at a stone 1 if he is at stone i he can go to stone i plus 1 till i plus k and the cost will be hi minus hj okay so let's take some random value of k so i have taken 3 here and i is equal to 2 which is a stone 0 so i have taken the index in form 0 which means this is a stone 0 and this is 1 2 3 okay so the value of j will be i plus 1 i plus 2 till k now for i is equal to 0 the value of j is 1 2 3 and for j is equal to 1 the path will be 10 to 30 and for j is equal to 2 the path will be 10 to 40 and j is equal to 3 the path will be 10 to 20 okay now for i is equal to 1 which means the frog is at stone 1 he can take jump to 2 3 4 now for j is equal to 2 uh, the cost the path will be 10 to 30 to 40 so 10 to 30 to 40 because he is he is at this stone he will reach to 40 but we also have to consider the cost associated uh, on how we reach to this stone so that will be 10 to 30 now similarly for j is equal to 3 it will be 30 to 20 plus the cost associated uh, on uh, cost on associated by jumping to this stone that is 10 to 30 now j is equal to 4 won't be true because that will go out of index for this array so we will not take that value now the relationship will be same that is dp of j and j is the stone which the frog want to go and we have to take minimum of dj dj means the cost at stone j and comma we have to take the value of jumping from i to j that is di plus absolute value of ei minus aj now let's try to convert this to code so i've already opened the custom test and this is the solution for problem one so we have to just make little bit modification in this code now we also have the value of k along with n so i'll have to take k as well here so i'll just take k and this will change to something like this so let me just write it 
okay i have the value of n and k we already have the value of hi we have the dp initialize we have the value of dp of 0 as 0 now the loop will run from i is equal to 0 to n but now for j the value will be till j plus i plus k so here instead of i plus 2 this will be i plus k and the formula is same we have to print out dp of n minus 1 because we have to print the cost at stone n uh, let's take the input so this is the input and let's see what output we get okay we are getting 30 and 30 is the correct answer now let's try to test it for all the test cases now i am choosing python 3 as a language and i will get the timed out error because if you see at the introduction of this contest they have mentioned not to use any slow language and python is slow for competitive programming so if we see here i am getting tle for python 3 but if i run the same code for py3 not python3 the code will run because this is like a fast version of python and it converts normal python code into something which runs very fast so my advice is whenever you are participating in any contest always choose i3 not python3 so as you can see i am running the same code and now i won't get any error my problem will be accepted okay so my answer is accepted with py3 so that's all from my side uh, if you like this video please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one